what is going on my peoples welcome back to the channel and today i want to talk to you guys about the release of count doku by hot toys and this figure looks incredible it looks really really amazing we just touched upon the joda figure and i if you watch that video i absolutely love that figure and this figure is no different i really really like the figure um it's really really cool that uh, hot toys has finally decided to start touching upon the upon the second trilogy like the first three episodes of the star wars universe and because they're even though the movies they were not so good um to everyone including myself i didn't enjoy them that much they had their moments and they have very good characters and if i was collecting uh star wars i want a few of those characters and this guy is one of them characters he looks absolutely amazing once again coming onto the head sculpt you can clearly see this is christopher lee and in the plastic let's just say he looks really really good and as i mentioned on the joda and i mentioned on every freaking video i do uh how to does incredible uh head sculpts but they dropped the ball on the um, on the expression but now here they absolutely nailed the expression on this guy thank you hot toys thank you for not doing that dumb looking dead face uh once again you you give him just subtle subtle expressions will go a long way and thank you for that he looks absolutely incredible he looks just like christopher lee and i am very 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 pleased with this health call he might it might not be a perfect 10 but he's really really out there it's like 8.5 easily to a 9 really really easily that the the expression on his face is just helping it's just throwing a ton uh towards this health call i really really like it coming on to the accessory he comes with this absolutely unique uh hilt for his lightsaber which is completely different from everyone else you cannot confuse it uh, it looks uh it looks like a j kind of like a banana i don't know how to comp what to compare it to but it's is like it has like a turn on the lightsaber it's not completely straight like every single other lightsaber and so he's very unique very distinctive for for his character also another uh accessory he comes with we see here is that motion uh blade that they've been including for every uh star wars uh lightsaber wielder lately and uh, that is really really nice to see because it gives a lot of uh motion uh, to a uh, dynamic uh pose that you want to go for and if you're putting him in combat with joda and with anybody else it, it will looks really it will look really really cool so i like that they're including that uh, also, you can remove it and you can store the his lightsaber on his belt. Pretty cool detail. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Christopher Lee was really, really tall. I am talking about six foot five. The man was. He was really tall, and I am super curious to see if Hato is going to take that into account, and he's going to be slightly taller than everyone else, like. Um, obi-wan and so on uh so yeah that would be really cool to see the to see them take that into account because usually how to they only use the same uh true to body uh type uh, endoskeleton for for these figures and they don't you know they always go for that but maybe they they do something on the boots so the pegs will go higher and that makes him taller than everyone else as he should be because this man was really tall I would like to see that. So another of the accessory he comes with, just like Joda, he comes with this electricity, dark power thing that he throws out of his fingers, and he doesn't come only one; he comes with two. So yeah, you can use those if you like. Uh, he also comes with this uh, little device that projects like holograms, it's like a phone for them back in the days. And you can see here the Death Star, and he comes with um, more alternative ones that we can see on the final picture because Hot Toys didn't include any except for that there. And here you guys have in uh, Battle in Joda, pretty nice. Hopefully the cape is wired. I can kind of see how that is wired here. 
but I don't know. But it, it looks really, really cool on the win. Uh, having here battling Yoda. Hopefully, on this picture, Yoda is on his toes and he's doing some backplate or something because he's about to lose his head on this picture right here. He, he's about to be decapitated. So, but he's just too good for that. That's not going to happen. It didn't happen. We all know we've seen the movie. So, yeah, really, really cool. These two figures release in one day. Amazing stuff. Moving on to everything that is included on the package. Uh, as I said before, you guys have the little hologram thing. This is like a battle droid, and this is like Django Fat. Because it's not both Fat, it's Django Fat. And this is uh, Emperor Palpatine, the um, Death Star, the Motion Blade, the hilt for the for his lightsaber, the stray blade for the lightsaber. The lightning and assortment of hands and the stand, so pretty nice, pretty standard. Uh, they went a little bit, a little bit above, a little bit above, and I don't even want to say beyond, but including all these holograms, it's just a little touch. I don't know who's gonna be using those, uh, and that's the sad part that they, they do all this extra work, and not many people are gonna be using them. But hey, it's cool for pictures. A lot of people take pictures. And uh, I just see it from my perspective because I'm more like a poser. I like to pose my figures around. And I always wanted to look badass with the lightsabers and all that. Um, and not just holding a hologram. But it's cool for people. It's, these figures are for many, many people. Many, many assortment of people. And some people don't like to pose their figures around. They just like museum poses. And this could be a really good... Just move the hand slightly up, uh, museum pose, and get it with, with a hologram and trying to recreate the scene and for pictures as well. Uh, pretty cool. Anyways, they have included four of those, and that is really nice. I am not complaining. They, they could have charged just the same for the figure and not include none of that, but they decided to do so. I am grateful for that. And talking about price, we're going to move on to the price. And this guy is going for $243. So there has never been Kondoku in the past. So I have nothing to compare him with. Or well, I have no other Kondoku to compare with. So I'm going to compare him to other releases from that very um, from that very trilogy. So here we have the release for Obi-Wan. He was $235. And he included all of this. So, he comes with this for, how much was it? 243 and this is 235 So, I don't know. $8 difference? It's, I, I mean, come on. I think this guy comes with more and he's cheaper, but it's only $8. So, I don't know what to say about that. And then you have Anakin. It goes for the same price as Obi-Wan. And he's including all this. He's including two lightsabers. And not much more, to be honest. So I would say that for $8 is a fair price. I mean, he could have been 235 as well as the other two. But heck, they decided to charge $8 more. And I don't think anybody is going to retract from buying this figure for eight dollars i'm just saying but um yeah overall i really like this picture uh this figure is a really nice figure and if you're gonna start uh working like with this guy if you're getting this guy if you're getting this guy then you must absolutely get yoda and come doku and i am convinced that down the line you're gonna have Darth Maul. You're gonna have Coin Gonjin. You're gonna have um, uh, General Grievous. Those are going to be really amazing releases, and I cannot wait to see them in a Hot Toys form. And we have had them before uh, by side shows and all that. But Hot Toys, uh, you guys know they, they pitch it a little bit further. And uh, I cannot wait to see that. And I'm going to be so happy for all you guys collecting Star Wars out there. Because those are going to be amazing figures. Us. These three right here are. And so is Yoda from the um, episode 1, 2, and 3. 
So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this guy? Do you like this figure? What do you think of the health call? Is it an 8.5 to a 9? Like it is to me. I absolutely love the, the expression on his face. And yeah. Put it on the comments below. I want to hear from you. You guys know I'm going to be answering every single comment you guys put down there. So let's get to work. And don't be a stranger on the channel. Be around.